Well, hello. Today I thought I'd make a video on everyday things that you could feed your worms and you probably never even thought about it. So let's kick it off with number one, your newspapers. Don't feed your worms the glossy section of your newspapers, but you can feed them that newspaper, get it wet to the consistency of a wrong out sponge, tear it up, and your worms will eat that. It'll be a great food source for your worms, and it's also considered to be called worm, worm bedding. Another thing you can do is when you buy eggs, buy the corrugated cardboard type of egg cartons. You can get that wet, tear it up, and your worms will eat that also. Speaking of corrugated cardboard, if you get boxes in the mail, go ahead and take the labels and the tape off, get that wet, rip it up, and throw that in your worm bin also because your worms love corrugated cardboard. But don't feed them cereal boxes because cereal boxes have ink and other things in them, toxins, so don't put that in your worm bin. Another thing you can feed them is your phone books. If you still get phone books in the mail, go ahead and take the cover off and they'll eat those yellow pages and white pages up with no problem. Your worms will like to eat that. Let's talk about some bills. We get bills in the mail. We hate bills. But you can also shred those bills up, get them wet, and your worms will eat them bills. That'll be a win-win for everyone. Let's talk about those toilet paper rolls. Okay, when you're done using the bathroom and you have that toilet paper roll, go ahead and save that. Get it wet to consist of a wrong out sponge. Tear it up and put it in your worm bin because your, worm your worms will eat that corrugated toilet paper roll up. Let's talk about some hair. Worms eat pet hair and human hair. But I'm going to throw that out there. If you have chemicals in your hair, I'm going to say dye. Don't put that in your worm bin. But if your hair is 100% natural like mine, then put that hair in there because your worms will eat that hair up. Another thing that you can feed your worms is the lint in your dryer. If you have 100% shirts, 100% cotton shirts, you can give them the shirts, tear it up, cut it up, put that in your worm bin. But the lint dryer, if it's 100% cotton, put that in there. But don't put the other stuff in there because a lot of our clothing nowadays is synthetic. It has polyester and other man-made products. So if it's not 100% cotton, don't even put it in your worm bin. I'm trying to see if I left anything else out. But um, if I left anything else that you know that I might have forgotten, go ahead and leave it in the comments because I'd love to hear what you have to say. But I just want to say thank you for taking the time to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share it. And have a great day. Bye.